Y'all, I'm so in love with my pot of instantness. Let me just show y'all how easy it was to make some bomb collard greens up in this joint. Stay tuned. What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to another video. Today you guys we are using our Instapot again you guys and I've been practicing y'all. I've been practicing. I think I think I got it this time. So today we are going to make us some collard greens in the Instapot. Um, I've been seeing a lot of delicious recipes on how people are doing theirs and also so I'm gonna put my own little twist and take on it or how I do my collard greens um, and I've just been craving greens like I just want a nice big bowl of greens with like extra smoked turkey meat like just greens with a slice of cornbread so listen y'all easy peasy one two three we got some collard greens here. Clean, wrenched, chopped, cut, okay? We got us a half of a yellow onion. I'm just gonna chop this up. Nothing fancy. You know what I'm saying? We putting it in the in the uh, pressure cooker. Everything gonna just wilt on down. We just gonna get us a nice little rough chop. Nothing fancy, that's it. Bye, done with that. So y'all, let me get this out the way. Hope everybody is doing spectacular. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. I appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. If you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Please subscribe. So we have our nice, clean, inter, um, the inner portion to our Instant Pot. Boom. Now, simple. Let's start adding in our greens, y'all. Simple, simple stuff. So let's add them in. And I think what I'm going to do, you know what? Because I don't know if I want to add all the greens. Y'all, I say it all the time. It's not rehearsed, y'all. Okay? I be cooking as I be recording. Ain't nobody got time for no rehearsed videos. So listen, I don't know if I should... Put all the greens in first, then my smoked turkey on the top, or yeah, maybe I should do it like that. Like put all the greens and then lay the turkey um, on the top. So like that turkey, like the little the juice can like drip within the, I think that's maybe what I'm gonna do. Okay, y'all. So let's add it in. Keep adding them. All right, keep adding them. I'm so in love with this Instant Pot, y'all, so far. Don't make no sense. So, I don't know. I think we could probably push it down. Y'all know it's going to wilt down to nothing. So, I might be able to just squeeze all these in, y'all. Okay. I might be able to squeeze them all in. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think we it's on and popping. It's on and popping, y'all. We gonna be good tonight. Wait, let me get this out the way. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Put this over here so y'all can see it. Okay, we got our greens, y'all. Now, wait, let me get my, hold up. Onion. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna incorporate those onions a little better though, y'all. That's what I should have layered them like that. Like that. And here's the rest of the little bit of onion. Onion, onion. Okay, get that off the way. Now we have our little turkey. Let me grab those up. Two of those. I like my greens. Meaty. I like a meaty. I thought that was a piece of hair, y'all. Oh my god. That hair be high. Okay, so that's how 
we go do that. That's how we go. I'm excited. Okay, y'all see? Boom. Okay, so we got our meat. So we got our greens. We got our onion. And we got our smoked turkey drumsticks. Now, what I also like to do, you don't have to, but I like to add a little bit in my greens, even when I'm doing, doing them on the stove. I like to add a little bit of hot or mild banana peppers, y'all. It just gives it like a little twangy, like a little twangy twang. It don't gotta be too much, not too much. But I love that flavor in there. Okay, so we are also gonna add some minced garlic. Cause y'all know I can't do nothing without garlic. Nothing, not a thing. I'm also gonna use my all-purpose seasoning. I put that on everything. I put that on everything. If you would like a bottle, I will leave my email down below. Reach out by email and I will tell you exactly how you can purchase your seasoning. But if you don't have your hands on this bad boy, then you can just, you know, use your usual season salt, um, garlic, pe garlic powder, pepper, whatever you want to do. Whatever is your go-to favorite seasonings. So I'm going to use my seasoning on here. Very, very flavorful seasoning. Okay. That should be good like that. And let me just push that down. Push that down. Now, I, now listen, I said y'all I've been practicing, but I ain't say that I was no Instant Pot Pro yet. Okay. So now let me get a little bit of water. put some water in this empty minced garlic jar now last time y'all let me get some more last time I used so much water for the last video y'all saying for the um what, what did I cook the uh for that beef stew y'all that beef stew I used a truck load of freaking water I don't want to do that for that for this. I think I learned my lesson. This thing here is gonna be all right. Okay, wait. I'm at one more little. Hold on. I'm at one more. Get that seasoning down in there. Now that should be enough water for real, for real. Cause I don't want to. Now you can use um, chicken stock, vegetable stock, vegetable broth, chicken broth. Whatever you want to use as a liquid in your greens, go right ahead and use it. I don't have none of the above. So when I don't have none of the above, I'm straight with water. You know what I'm saying? Because it still come out bomb to me. Okay? The flavors be there. Now, like I said, like I, like I said, I think in my last video, y'all, I'm just giving y'all a blueprint on how Tish makes her greens. This is one of the ways I make my greens, y'all. If you do not like the recipe, substitute it for something else. If you don't want the turkey, use ham hock. If you don't want the peppers, don't do them. If you don't want the onion, don't. this is how I do it. Hope you guys enjoy it. So, I'm about to take this, throw it on in the big boy. Ah. We're going to throw it up on our big boy. We're going to plug this bad boy up, y'all. And I will be back. Stay tuned. Okay, family lamb, y'all know what time it is. I got my lid locked and loaded. I hit pressure cook right here. I hit pressure cook. It automatically set for 35 minutes on high pressure. We go let these uh, collard greens and that and, uh, turkey legs do what it do. And I will show you guys what it's looking like after that 35. We ain't gonna burn it this time, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, my YouTube family. Our um, collard greens and turkey legs have come to a halt. A halt. And as you can see, the steam is all out of there. We release that pressure. Okay, so let's open it. I'm opening it with you guys. First time opening it. Ooh. Ooh, 
steamy. Hold on, y'all. Let's see what it's talking about. Oh, my good, y'all. Wait, let's just get it steamed. Time to get his life together. Y'all, why did that turkey cook off the bone like that? I'm telling you, listen. I know a lot of y'all probably been had this pot. But honey, let me tell you, I'm new to this pot. And I am in love so far. And I only had it since Christmas, y'all. So look, these was... Can y'all look at this? Can y'all look how the meat just... Wait, can we... Let me see, y'all. Oh, my good... Y'all, okay, okay. Let, let me see. Hold on, let me see what these greens... These greens is tender, too. Should I let them go? Y'all, I think this is... Y'all, it was on for... What it said it for? 35 minutes? Y'all, this is done. The greens is tender. It's all get out. I wish that the steam would kind of slow down. I didn't put too much water in it this time, you guys. It's like, it's so perfect. So, I'm going to try to cool... I'm going to try to wait till some of this steam subside, you guys, so you guys can get a good view, okay? Be back. Okie dokie, my YouTube fam. So, what I did after I um, cut the camera and then I um, gave it a real good stir, I decided to put it on another, I think I put it on another 15 minutes. It was, was it 10 or 15? I think it was another 15 minutes on um, pressure cook. So now i think that because the turkey was really it was tender it just wasn't tender enough for my liking so 15 more minutes let's see what it's talking about now y'all y'all know it's gonna be a lot of steam so and again excuse the wobble wobbling because i'm holding it with one hand but okay now now that was it that was it right there y'all that was it. Look at that. That was it. Another 15 minutes did the trick. It's so hot, y'all. I'm trying to get in there for y'all, but y'all get the y'all get the point. Y'all see that bone separated from that meat. Look at that. Look at that. So now you guys, I'm just gonna hey check it for seasoning. I'm I'm gonna serve it right out of this Instapot so they can stay nice and warm. And y'all, this is it another success with the instant pot I'm um, so I'm about to instant pot y'all to death I can feel it I think I'm about to really instant pot y'all to death it's all right though bear with me y'all so as always I thank you guys so much for tuning in everybody stay safe and stay blessed and I will see you guys in the next video collard green time y'all